Everybody had a chance to grab the appetizers. Was it good? Good, good. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for joining us. This is actually a very special day for us. Uh, you know, probably more special for Gublu, but uh, or Anirban. Everybody know. You guys all know Anirban's name is Gublu, right? Yeah, I think so. I thought so. So. Uh, Gublu's, uh, it's a very special day. Um, and uh, thank you for joining the celebration with us. Uh, the one thing is that the Gublu didn't want to have this party. So, you know, I, and I heard that many of his friends also had the similar things, but he didn't want to have the party. And he gave me a lot of different reasons, uh, ranging from, well, maybe not everybody is gonna come, uh, to, uh, you know, Bengalis always love to have party. I guess some truth in there. So we just look for any opportunity to have a party. The other thing that I heard was that uh, uh, whether we thought that he's actually going to even graduate or not. So what's a big deal? <laughs> so, but having said that, well, you know, the thing though is that we knew he was going to graduate, but uh, how and where, what's going to happen next, we're not exactly sure of. So. You have to give us uh, some slack for that. Um, but it's a great day. Uh, so you have done it. And congratulations. So, you know, a couple of things I have to say about Gublu this last 18 years now that he's adult and uh, I'm going to miss uh, probably is. Uh, uh, there are four things that I wanted to share with everybody, and these are some of the fun facts. So, so number one is that without Gublu, I don't think that I would have ever learned so much about anime. I don't know whether you guys know about this stuff, okay? 
this is all Japanese cartoons. So, you know, it's a series. So, it talk about Attack on Titans, talk about One Man Punch, um, or the Death Note. Do you guys know that there is a character called Nishigami? Nishigami is the corresponding thing of a Grim Reaper. And there's a whole series for that. It's fun. So, so it's pretty cool. It's fun. So I got into anime. The second thing that I, uh, thanks to him, that I gotten into is a uh, lot of airsoft, paintballing, uh, to some extent hockey too. I didn't know much about hockey before Google started playing. So those are some of the things. I mean, I actually, quite frankly, the airsoft, so much I learned from him. Um, so that was pretty cool. I, you know, uh, even helped him change his, uh, or modified his uh, guns from spring action to a, a solid iron pneumatic and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool, actually. The, uh, the third thing that I learned through Gublu, and I was hoping Mr. Hessler was here, that uh, there is no such thing called centrifugal force, okay? So when we went to school, we studied centripetal and centrifugal. And here, Google comes back and tells me, Mr. Hessler, oh, right on time. <laughs> so Mr. Hessler, we are talking about if centrifugal is really a force or not. And I was told by Anirban that you will send me home from school class if I would have said that centrifugal, there is something called a centrifugal force. <laughs> I, I thought so. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> so that's the another thing that I learned. And, uh, and the fourth thing worth mentioning is uh, my urban uh, English vocabulary is so much richer. Okay? Um, stuff like brass, benzene, Mula, brick. Do you guys know that this thing all means money? Okay. It's uh, it's he got me into rap and in the logic and Kendrick Lamar and two chains. Oh my God! I'm just gonna stop right there because the other stuff I don't even want to know. <laughs> so that's been some of my highlights. But this 18 years, it's been a fun. I mean, it just, uh, it's been an awesome time. It's probably uh, the best time of uh, my life because I literally lived my second childhood through Google. So, thank you. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Get here, don't go anywhere. Well, so, the next part, so now that, uh, you know, he's 18, he's going off to the college. Um, so first of all, uh, you know, none of this thing would be, wouldn't be possible without everybody in this room and so many more other people in our life, in his life. Uh, so I, I mean, Agaboni and I, where is Axe, by the way? Right here. Okay. <laughs> She's doing the last minute touch, I can see. Um, you know, without you guys, uh, your help, your support, your influence, uh, your blessings, none of these things, you know, you got your friendship there, all your friends, uh, none of these things would be possible. So, so this is really, the, that's why we wanted to have this party. And so I'm sure that you had to say a lot of thank yous along the way, and I'm sure you'll be saying a lot more thank yous along the way. So be humble. Isn't that from logic? Kendrick. Be humble. Oh, that's Kendrick. Sorry. Be humble. Um, but once, now that you're an adult and you're moving out to the college, to the WPI, um, I'm, we're sure that you're going to do great. You go places. Uh, and. I'm definitely going to miss this time. And it has always been that where, until now, uh, we were slightly ahead and Gublu, we were making decisions together, but Gublu was slightly following us. But now, going to college and the next phase of your life that you're starting into, we are the one who are going to be slightly behind. So it's a big responsibility. 
not only not only you are going to be taking uh, you're you're no longer I mean you're definitely not our responsibility. I mean you will always be our responsibility, but not as much, <laughs> not as much. Hope I hope, but uh, I think he's still he's still, but. The good thing is, I'm hoping that he will be able to take everybody's responsibility, so more people will be able to take on more. Okay, I got to stop. <laughs> good luck. You're gonna be good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, so, Ags. You ready? So the way we are going to do it is, um, Ags goes next. I'm going to try to connect. So you know, I go back to my doing my handyman work here. So I'll start doing some connections. This that if anything blows up in the process, don't mind us. You ready? And then um, I understand Gublu's friends also have something in surprise. So we'll see that too. Hi everyone. Just like my son, I'm doing my homework last minute. Um, I <laughs> cried at a graduation speech, couldn't finish it. So I'm trying to write it down, what uh, I wanted to say. But while I'm finishing it up, um, I would like to request uh, Mr. Hessler, Mr. Waldron, his teachers are all here, Mr. Karnausi is here. If you guys please come over, take a picture with Anur Ban, and also say a few words. In our culture, um, the place of teachers we call gurus are above parents. So I am very glad that uh, you guys are such a big part of Anirban's life and he looks up to you. You guys mentor him. Whenever he has a hard time, he goes and talks to you guys. Um, you have no idea at this uh, day and age how lucky he is and how lucky we are that we have you guys in his life. So if you please come over here. Uh, take a picture with Anurban and say a few words. Mr. Walren, are you hiding? Did he run away? Oh my God, this, this needs to be tweeted. Like Twitter, please. Mr. Walren ran away because he had to give a speech. So, just for the records. I just want to say, I'm not really prepared for anything in particular, mm -hmm. but uh, I just want to say about Anirban, have you ever met a genuine person? Um, there are students uh, at our school, and they're focused on their grades. They're focused about, you know, just getting the problem solved, get their homework, go through a hoop, and that's the end of it. Anirban is not one of those people. Anirban actually cares about learning. Anirban actually is a person that loves to learn new things. He is a genuine person. As a teacher, when you meet someone like Enerbon for the first time, we would we love to, students like this. We love the fact that we have a person who is a genuine learner who is hungry to learn. We don't see that that often, and he is one of those people. And I know in the future, his future is going to be very bright because he's hungry to learn, and he's going to do one heck of a job for whatever major corporation he runs, or whether he's president of the United States, <laughs> or whatever leadership role he got. What a wonderful person. Thank you. So usually I like to go after Mr. Hessler because he gives much better speeches than I. And this is quite ironic because, as many of you may know, uh, Anurban was the director of a robotics team. and. Um, Quite often, would he show up to something, and then five minutes later, I tell him, hey, I need you to talk to people, like, in five minutes. This is what we call throwing you under the bus, right? So it's very ironic that I walked in, and here I am right now. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, nonetheless, I, I can't echo Mr. Hessler's words um, enough. Um, and also the fact that he's surrounded by so many good friends and so many also genuine people, you know, it's, you are, are supported by the people around you. And as was said earlier, you, you are, that's what makes you very, very, very successful. Um, so, you know, some words of encouragement here, Anna Bond, keep doing that. Surround yourself with good people, okay, clearly 
You're always going to have good people around you. Um, and also, definitely trust yourself, whatever, everything he does. He, uh, through the course of this past year, kept on wanting to find out from me, you know, Mr. Canales, what's my grade on being, you know, the director? How'd I do? You know, he's looking for that. And, you know, to that I would ask, how do you think you did? <laughs> I think he knows that because he was loved by everyone on his team, loved by his advisors and his mentors, and also by the pure fact that he had fun and he learned a lot, he did a good job. All right, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Anurban, and uh, yeah, good luck, man. Thank you, Mr. Hessler and Mr. Kanaus. Um, I got a chance to do my homework, um, and I'm done. So I'm going to go next. Um, hello, all. We are here today because Gublu is starting a new phase of his life. He just turned 18 and voted for the first time. He is driving himself and others around. Uh, now he will start college and try to wear clean clothes and doing his own laundry. Um, this is the precise reason you are all here. Um, jokes apart, but if you know him, then you know, like Abhijit said, he doesn't enjoy attention, but uh, he likes when people uh, love him. He just wanted a small, simple get-together for his graduation with close friends, but today the reason we are here is to celebrate you guys, uh, the very, very important people in his life. It was not easy bringing him into this world. Uh, a lot of you know the struggles, the emotional ups and downs, and you guys stuck through it all by my side, and he was born. Then came balancing life and career with a laptop in one hand and Zithromax on other. Um, so you guys saw me through that too. Babysitting, doing whatever needed, I just had to make a call and you guys were there. Had a, a gate, like a great pediatrician, Dr. J. I don't know, he was supposed to be here. He's not here yet. And uh, he was Anirban's confidant. Uh, my wonderful uh, family, Anirban's Kaki, one in a million, if you know who I'm talking about. Um, Kaka, Pishis, Mashis, uh, Dadu, and Didas. And one and a half set of them was ordered from India. Um, my cousin came from Kolkata, dropping his celebrity schedule. He was my mom's favorite. She never met Gublu. She didn't have a chance. She passed away in 1988. Um, but I always felt her blessings, and today I'm absolutely sure that uh, she sent a representative, uh, my brother, to be here and be present. And uh, his wonderful friends, who were his friends when they were little boys in middle school and the girls, like tiny little girls and now into beautiful young ladies. Um, I always look forward to the parties and sleepovers at my house. Their laughter made our house come alive. I will miss them all. They say that they will come over when they are on a break, but I'll see. You promised me, guys. Uncle John, Kathy and Ruthie, Chantel, Sylvain, Nick. I remember those days when you guys used to uh, feed uh, Anuban hot dog when he wouldn't eat anything. And how many people have been to Uncle John's and Kathy's beach house? A lot of people here. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, thank you for that too. Uh, his friends, uh, their wonderful families, who put a bright smile on his face when he always came back from their house. Um, they said, you know, wonderful family, they take care of me, I am as comfortable in their house as uh, I am in mine. So thank you uh, for being there for him. 
um, it, like I said, in Indian tradition, the gurus, their place is higher than parents. They are here, thank you for coming. Um, people near and far, my neighbors, uh, my Bengali family, my co-workers who have become my family now. Uh, we have few of them here, Mini Auntie, I think I love more than Pushpendra. Um, there are like my family from Princeton, Pennsylvania, Long Island, Connecticut, and my little bro with a big name. He made a big name for himself and for us, all the way from India. I am blessed and glad to have you guys in my lives and our lives and Gublu's lives. Please uh, bless him. Uh, he's starting a new phase and he will need a lot of that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Didn't cry. <laughs> These are Gublu's first friends since he was born. Raididi was uh, two and a half and Megha was not born. She was born, I think, a couple yeah, weeks later. She was come out first, but she was sleeping too much in there. And Gublu came out early six weeks. So, you know, there's a... Um, hi, like Agunimashi said, I'm Mekha, or some people know me as Shristi. And I'm Rai. There we go. Um, I've known Gubu since he was born, and I was about two years old. And through the years, we've gone on many adventures together. And one thing I've always admired about him is his quickness at picking up new things and eagerness to learn. Um, I'll always remember when the three of us went. We went white water rafting, skiing, and also jet skiing. Um, and all those, and although these things were very new to us, Gubu was really excited about getting to you know do these cool new things and had no fears even when they proved to be a bit dangerous. And he was always willing to help me and Megha learn when we were a bit slower, because frankly, we feared for our lives sometimes. Um, keep, 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 being, keep continue being eager to learn and help others, because this will make you a great leader, especially in college. OK. <laughs> okay. So I've known Goblu since I was a newborn. He's like 20 days older than me. And we spent much of our early years joined at the hip. Um, in fact, most of my childhood memories take place in Gublu's playroom, playing Super Smash Bros on the GameCube and eating McDonald's. And Gublu, where, where's Gublu? Okay, Gublu, if you really think about it, we spend like a crazy amount of time together. We go on vacations together. We spend most major holidays together. We went to school together for eight years. We took a lot of the same classes. And it's normal for two people who spend so much time together to fight. And we definitely fight. We've, and I think what's really unique about our fights is that they take place in super like unique locations. For, <laughs> for example, we went to Mexico together and we went kayaking in the ocean and we kayaked for like 10, 15 minutes tops, but we still managed to get into a fight because apparently I wasn't kayaking properly and I was the reason we were going the wrong direction. Um, and then the summer before sophomore year, we went to Alaska together, which was a great vacation and we took a day cruise um, and during the day cruise in the middle of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of beautiful scenic Alaska, Gubu and I got into another fight over how long a whale could hold its breath underwater. And so everyone was looking at the beautiful glaciers and we were just yelling at each other. And of course Gubu was right, but I was too stubborn to admit it. But despite all of our petty, ridiculous fights and the days we might spend not talking to each other, we always we've always managed to remain best friends. And I think a large part of that and a large reason why that is is because of who you are as a person. I think you have a very, very pure heart. You truly care about your friends and your family. And we all know you're incredibly intelligent and well-spoken, but more importantly, you care. And I think that's what's going to make you or help you do great things in life. And you don't need it, but good luck at WPI. And I hope you, and me, you me and Rai can go on a tons of more adventures together in the future. And we love you. We love you. <laughs>
Hi everyone, uh, my name's Saranj, and I have the privilege of calling Anirban my best friend. Uh, I've known him for almost seven years, uh, even though we've really only gotten closer over the past four years in high school. Uh, it's really amazing to see how far we've come. So my first memory of Anirban uh, was French class in sixth grade. Uh, and I distinctly remember this. Uh, we had this one project where we had to make a skit in small groups and pretend we were in a cafe because we had just learned the words for different French foods. And so while we were practicing this skit over conference call on our landlines, uh, I'm not joking, Anirban had this brilliant idea of somehow incorporating Star Wars into our skit. And without fail, the next day, he showed up with these Darth Vader and Boba Fett masks and drapes and everything and I think that was the first time I realized that something had gone terribly wrong with this kid. <laughs> first of many many times. Um, all kidding aside, I'm forever grateful to Anirban for getting me into Star Wars and he's made me a fan for life. And up here I would like to use this opportunity to settle once and for all uh, that Jar Jar Binks or as may, some of you may know him as Darth Jar Jar. He's an essential character to the movies and they would be incomplete without him. I know, I know I get criticism for this, but I also know Anirban will back me up when I say Jar Jar does not get the love he deserves. <laughs> Besides Star Wars, I could go on and on about all the various ways Anirban has influenced the person I've become. He has an impeccable taste in food, fashion, and music. Anytime we hang out, I can always expect us to be blasting rap music or sea shanties, playing video games in his basement, or at least me trying to play and being mercilessly slaughtered by Enter. And finally, trying out the newest upgrades to his airsoft weapons and gear. He's gotten me into ice hockey, the flyers, and in fact was even by my side the very first time I went ice skating. We've shared so many memories together, and I know for sure there will be a lot more. There are very few of my friends that I respect as much as I do Anirban. His unwavering commitment to put family and friends above anything else, even including himself, is awe-inspiring. His ability to lead under pressure is one that very few possess. Now, being the alpha male of our friend group, He's often entrusted with the responsibility of basically making all our plans, or else we just don't end up hanging out at all. Uh, so you could say he's pretty used to being in charge, but he took leadership to another level this, he this year. And like as Mr. Canal said, as the director of our robotics team, guiding us to a successful season and an impressive turnaround from, quite frankly, a kind of disastrous season from the year before. As much as he hates to take credit for it, I, I really don't think it would have been possible without him. Finally, if there is one trait about him that stands out, it is his passion. He, re he relentlessly works at his goals, whether they be learning how to hit the chords on a new song on the bass, or mastering his paintball skills. He has persevered through quite a lot of adversity, particularly this, particularly this year, and Boy, am I glad to see his smiling face today. Anirban is a great friend and just a fun person to be around. Sometimes from the outside, people mistake his ever-present sarcasm and his brutally honest mentality as being a little too harsh. Trust me, it can get a little annoying sometimes. But if you look a little closer, you'll find a heart of gold. And that's why he's my best friend. Anirban, thank you for always being there for me. Congratulations, man. I know you will stop at nothing short of success in the future. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Sahil. Um, I'm, I'd like to think I'm one of Anirban's closest friends. Okay, I guess not. Um, I first met him uh, back when I was four years old. When I first came to New Jersey, our dads worked together at TRG. And the earliest memories I have are at Take Your Child to Work Day, where we'd spend the whole day hanging out at TRG, 
then go to Friendly's for lunch, and then back to his house to play Metroid and Star Fox. Um, from there, we just kept doing that until about Harrington, I would say, where we uh, both did Odyssey of the Mind and formed the four-man fortress with uh, LJ and Jason. And we would spend every weekend playing Halo, Call of Duty, building 22 gram structures when it's only supposed to be 15. <laughs> what? Oh, true. Uh, yeah, for Odyssey of the Mind, we had to build structures and we all made our own. Mine and LJ's were each within the requirements. He decided, he showed up with one that was 10 grams over the weight limit. Um, from there, we went to Lenape. <laughs> Uh, and we, um, sorry, uh, our friendship only grew at Lenape from Scouts to Rogue Squadron and um, the She Shanties at, <laughs> sorry, I'm very bad at this, um, from She Shanties at Disney to Vibrating Tongues in Latin class, which is a lot, <laughs> it's a lot better than it sounds, it's a quote from the Indian. <laughs> Um, uh, just like to say thank you for being my best friend pretty much my whole life. Um, you'll never met me a truer friend than Anir Bun. He's always there for you when you need him. And I hope I've always been there for you too. Um, you truly are one in a million. So thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Hi guys, can everyone hear me? How about now? Is that better? Okay, yeah, now I can hear myself. Um, I'm Lyle, I'm Enerbun's friend. I've known him since seven, well actually I've probably known him for a long time. He and I have had mutual friends since we were little, Sahil especially. So we definitely saw each other at birthday parties and such when we were younger. But I really got to know him first in seventh grade when we did Odyssey the Mind together which Sahil mentioned is like a competitive academic club. That's basically all you need to say to sum it up. It's a competitive academic club, which pretty neatly sums up both of our interests, especially in middle school. Um, when I started to be friends with Anurban, he was really a new kind of friend for me. He was much more outgoing and less reserved, a little bit noisier and more generally fun than the kinds of people I've been hanging out with. You know, like the most, the most exciting things got before that was kind of like playing Super Monkey Ball you know, and maybe maybe some soccer outside, but that was pretty much as, as hype as it got. But with Anurban, I got exposed to a lot of new things, tried, you know, Halo. As Saranch, I think, mentioned, we lost to him every time, but it was still, it was still fun, because we could say that we were learning, you know? It wasn't that we were worse, we were just less experienced than him. Um, introduced me to Skyrim, which was a, a pretty life-changing game for me, definitely I don't know, broadened my horizons a lot, even with rap music, which I now listen to, what, like six years after he showed it to me, I finally got into it myself, but I don't think that would have happened if I hadn't had that early exposure. So a good example of when he introduced me to new things was during Odyssey of the Mind. I think it was after one of our earlier competitions, but it could have just been after a practice. We hung out at his old house, this was like shortly before he moved and we ate buffalo chicken pizza, which I had never had, and we watched the Napoleon Dynamite cartoon on TV, which I had never seen. So those were, that was like next level kind of stuff for me. He really pulled me, <laughs> pulled me head first from my middle school mindset, which was really more like an elementary school mindset for me, honestly, um, and into kind of like the next stage of life. Eighth grade was no different, except it meant a lot less time hanging out with Mr. Dragna, and a lot more time with Mr. Trevetti uh, and just practicing in Sahil's basement. Uh, we sat together at lunch that year and had sleepovers all the time. Like I said, we would always lose to Anurban, but I remember that fondly, just like I remember drinking Thumbs Up until way too early in the morning. Um, I hope I never lose track of the pictures that we have of us from our eighth grade dance. I think, I think it was up there, me and my, my hair down to here and my black and yellow tie, you know, Sahil like two inches shorter than Anurban at the time. Things have changed a little bit since then. But it's that kind of memory that I, I know I'll keep with me. 
um, ninth grade, Lenape, we had honors bio together our freshman year. Uh, it was an interesting class. It was definitely an adjustment, getting used to high school. I know I got called out more than a couple times from craning my neck around, trying to look over at Anurban in class if I thought of something that he thought would find funny and I thought I could whisper shout it across the room, you know, but uh, Mrs. DeSantis was a little bit too keen for me to get away, uh, get away with that. Uh, if you take that, repeat it next year, you'd have AP Bio, except he sat directly behind me, so there was a lot more neck craning, but it was a good year, good, good academic start for both of us for high school. Um, needless to say, we were consistent companions for much of high school. Even though we both made new friends and broadened our social circles, which he did a lot more successfully than I did, to be honest. I probably made like three new friends over the course of high school, and two of them were probably senior year. Um, he, he has a lot of people who care about him. He really has a way of making people feel comfortable, making people feel trusted, making people trust him, that I think is something special. Um, as friends, we've definitely had more than our fair share of smooth sailing over the years. Every friendship does get its due amount of rough seas, though. But the fact that we spent time together on senior trip, that we sat at the same table at prom, and that I'm here dancing at his graduation party is a testament to the strength of our friendship and to how important he and I are to each other. It's really been an honor and a privilege to be part of this young man's life and to earn a place in his story along with his wonderful friends and family. Anna and I will both be in Massachusetts for college next year. Even though we'll both be 45 minutes away, I'm fairly sure he'll still be the closest of all my good friends. We've got a lot of distance between all of us. Um, I know that he and I will both be busy with schoolwork and that traveling that far won't be the easiest thing next year, but I really hope that he and I can find the time to see each other next year and continue our connection. And if he's ever in the Boston area, he should definitely give me a call. Anurban, thank you for your friendship and your support over the years. Congratulations and good luck next year at WPI. So, I'm Matt. Um, I'm a little different, I guess, than a lot of his other friends in the sense that I haven't really known him quite as long. Um, I met him my sophomore year of high school, and um, it was we had two classes together. We had English with, you know, yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, and we had Latin. And even though I had mutual friends, I hadn't known who he was beforehand. Um, but even though I hadn't known him quite as long. The memories that we've made have just like made it seem so much longer that I've known him. Um, when we first met each other, we you know found some common interests in video games, and me, him, and Michael uh, have just wasted countless hours on Xbox playing Halo, the uh, game that shall not be named. Destiny, um, yeah, I'm not supposed to say that. There's a long story behind that. But uh, yeah, and even though some may consider gaming a waste of time, we made so many countless memories and connections throughout all the games that we played. Um, we even established a interesting concept of fire team trust through our games, uh, where it's kind of like a bondage between me, him, and Mike that you know, keeps us together as friends. Um, from there, we explored other things like paintball and airsoft. He was the one who actually introduced me to airsoft. Um, I had no interest in it before he brought it into my life, and it's, you know, a whole new world. Um, but yeah, uh, one of my favorite memories uh, back when we did a lot of paintball, uh, we had been in a really intense game and me, him, and Mike were all in a bunker, and uh, we were getting completely lit up by the other team. And <laughs> out of nowhere, Anirvan <laughs> jumps up out of his hiding spot and starts spraying while simultaneously screaming, Eat it! <laughs> and uh, shortly after, we all got shot. But um, it, was, it was great while it lasted. Um, he's made such, like, so many amazing memories in my life, and, you know, as you can probably see from that, you know, just an amazing sense of humor. He's absolutely hilarious. He's made me laugh so many times to the point of, like, tears, 
Um, and not many friends of mine can really do that for me, uh, but he can do it so easily. Um, the one thing that I really appreciate, appreciate about Anurban as a friend is that he has, as some others mentioned, brutal honesty. And while it's a bit jarring at first, it is something that I respect so greatly of him. Um, I know that if I come to Anurban with something, I'm going to get the absolute truth, no matter what. And that's really respectable to me, that I can get, without any filter, what he thinks. Um, and I really respect that in a friend, and it's really meaningful to me. I also know that Anurban always has my back no matter what. He's been with me through the good times and the great times, but he's also been with me through some of the really hard times. And that's not something that every friend does, so I really respect him for being in that position. Anurban is one of the most genuine people I've ever met, and he's just such an outstanding friend. Uh, I have memories that will last a lifetime with him, and he's just had such an extremely meaningful impact on my life. Um, Anurban, you have all of my respect for like the rest of my life, and I can't wait to make just plenty more mm -hmm. memories with you. Fire Team Trust. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Michael Higgins. Uh, I just want to say a few quick words about Anirban. Um, most of the people here that have spoken about Anirban have talked about like their earliest memory with Anirban. To be quite honest, I don't remember the first time that I met Anirban. We've always kind of known about each other ever since elementary school, but at this point, our relationship has developed so much that like all the memories that I have with Anirban have kind of like commingled, and it feels like he's always been an integral part of my life. Now, I would just like to say, we're all gathered here today to recognize this young man and everything that he's accomplished with his life and everything that he has the potential to do with his life. And I feel as if there's two very important aspects of his character that he should always remember when he moves on in life. First of all, his passion. I know a few of um, my friends have alluded to that as um, uh, the speech of have gone on. But whether it's airsoft, video games, skateboarding, politics, music, TV, hockey, Anirban always shows an undying passion for everything that he does. And that is so integral in how he um, he portrays himself and like how you talk to him. He gets so animate and um, you can just see like the fire light up in his eyes, like with seemingly like crazy topics. And that's something that I hope he carries with him throughout his whole life because wherever he goes in life, like whatever he, job he does, so long as he has a passion for it, you know he's gonna be successful just because he has that fire in his heart. And that's just like inspiring to see. The second part of his character that I want to talk about is his conscientiousness. You can tell that Anirban truly cares about every single person that he comes across, and he always wants to be that friend that you know you can turn to for help. And I know a few of my friends talked about that, their experiences with that, but Anirban's really that guy that you can talk to when you're feeling down, because you know he's going to give you advice, and you know he's going to give you the time that you want, the time that you deserve. So I just want to thank Anirban for being that person in my life and everybody else's life here. So, Anirban, thank you. Uh, I hope, wish you good luck at WPI and Fire Team Trust. This is the last one, we swear. <laughs> um, hi everyone, my name's Megan. Um, and I'm Shannon. And um, so we both obviously, I've only known Anirban for four years, but even though only knowing him for four years, um, I'm lucky to call you one of my closest guy friends. We have so many things in common, from similar interests, to sassy attitudes, to driving the same gold Acura. Loving Star Wars, and even childhood memories, Seriously, that picture, the blue Halloween costume, I wore that when I was younger. And I was so pretty similar. <laughs> um, anyway, the list of similarities goes on and on. Thanks for always sending me rap songs to listen to and call me to listen to each other rant about something. I'll never forget the time you came over and watched scary movies together and especially played our fave Wii game, Tanks. <laughs> I know the graphics weren't the best. It was like from 1999, I swear, it was really bad. But we always still manage to have a great time and always try to reach the next goal of trying to get to the yellow tank level. I'll never forget the times Dream Team hang out, me, Shannon, and Matt back there, <laughs> and the times we hung out and did NHS events, whether we were raking leaves or um, helping out one of the homeless shelters. I'm so lucky to have met you. I know you'll do great things. Love you, twin. And I just want to say congratulations and thanks for being one of my best friends. So. Okay, that will conclude this part of whatever that was. Um, so now, you see all these good Indian folk have already lined up for lunch, so if you haven't done that, please go do that because all of them have you beat. Thank you for your patience, and go have a good meal. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have to sing happy birthday Mr. Chobrat this time. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Chopra. Happy birthday to you. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause. You're going to have to fight it.
You guys are my village, so thank you to all my friends and family that have supported me over the years. Um, my BCS family, uh, let me tell you that having so many aunts and uncles, um, some who, I'll be completely honest, I don't even know your names. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it goes in India too, you know, you have like, Dudukaku, which is like the one guy that used to fetch you milk sometimes. I have a cake daddy that I call her cake daddy just because sometimes she got me pastries and that's how I know her. Um, and you know, like every auntie and uncle brings something to the table, right? Like, um, like, window uncle is Santa every year. And I'll, I'll be honest, for like the first maybe four years of my life, that's who I knew window uncle as. The guy that dressed up as Santa. Obviously now I appreciate him a lot more because he's had like an immense impact on my childhood. Just, you know, coming over, giving me advice, seeing him every weekend is just such a comfort thing. You have no idea. Um, the one thing I like about Bengali is that I will always take away uh, is that we are a work hard, party hard people, right? <laughs> party very hard people. Um, you know, yeah, I'm gonna take that to college. I'm gonna take that to college. Um, so, you know, Monday through Friday, it's just work, 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 you know, bring in the racks. Um, and then on the weekend, it's just dance, eat a lot, and gossip about everybody, right? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, because I'm not wrong. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that spending every weekend with you guys, since, since I was born, practically, I don't know what I'm gonna do without you guys there. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of frightening, actually, that I'm not gonna see you guys as often. Um, and you, you, you truly are my family, so I wanna thank you for being here. So to everybody, thank you very much. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is my friends. Uh, yeah, a lot of them, let me, let me tell you, okay. So all those speeches, that you might have been have listening to, that I was like very attentively listening to. Um, I didn't know they were gonna do that, right? Like my mom asked them to come in and put in like some like cheesy one-liners about me, right? Like, oh, he's a cool guy, and sometimes he like beats me at video games, which I think was the takeaway from like half of them. Um, 
but they actually came prepared with like some beautiful things to say, which um, I mean, I'm surprised honestly because um, I didn't know. I didn't really know that I was that important to them, and I hope you're not lying because I'd like to think I'm that important to you. Um, so I can't even explain how invaluable these people have been to me in just uh, coming out of high school and surviving in one piece. Um, and I couldn't imagine my life, you know, without meeting a single one of these people. Uh, so thank you very much for being there for me. And then the last thing I want to talk about is my parents and my cousins, and my aunt and uncle. Um, it takes a village to raise a child, right? Um, so it also takes parents to raise a child. Uh, I mean, look, it's hard for me to do this, and I think it's good that it's hard for me to do this because, you know, I don't tell my parents enough how much I appreciate them and how much I, I love having them in my life and how fortunate I am to have them in my life. Um, everything I've been given, everything I've been granted is because of these two people, right? Like, and I think every day of my life, I take that for granted. You know, I go to school, I come back, maybe yell at my dad for something that he literally had nothing to do with. Um, and that's just a part of my routine. And then every so often I get scolded from my mom for not doing my homework. Um, and that's what I think of her as, you know, like uh, the person that in me, like the person in my life that yells at me all the time. Um, that's not true. Uh, my dad has gone to every one of my hockey games since I started playing. He's been to my practices as well. Um, and, you know, maybe he might be blabbering about things he doesn't know about, uh, telling me, like, that I need to skate faster, or that I wasn't there in time, or that I wasn't playing well. Um, and I, my, my excuse was always that, you know, what do you know about hockey? Um, now I can safely say that after all those arguments, he probably knows more about hockey than I do, and I play hockey. So that's the takeaway. Arguing makes better relationships. <laughs> Don't, don't take that away, don't, that's not a big one. Um, and my mom, uh, everything academic that you see out on that board, um, or you know, like, just my report cards, things like that, that's all her responsibility. Um, I can't take credit for a single SAT score, uh, a single letter grade, that she had nothing to do with. You know, she's always been my conscience academically, um, and kind of just, I think, I think, honestly, I can't even sum this up enough, she's just the best mother in the world. Like, she's there not just as someone who loves you unconditionally, and I mean unconditionally because I am a terrible child. I'm like a demon child, right? Like, I have said things to my mom that I'm pretty sure no one would ever say to their parents. And I feel really bad, but at the same time, I have this ego that I also got from her um, that I can't say I'm sorry, you know, otherwise, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I've never been that far. Um, but I really love my parents a lot, and everything that you see here, everything that I am is because of them. So thank you very much. Uh, you can come up here and give off your hugs, that's fine. <laughs>
He works with Orijit Singh. Anybody? Oh, okay. Now everyone's like, oh, he's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> um, but he does a lot of music for Bengali uh, films. Um, and all of the stuff I heard from, uh, about him is just, before now, it was just super interesting and I really wanted to meet him. And I can safely say that after he's been here, he's just the coolest guy. So thank you for coming and thank you for being here. Um, and also everyone else that came, like Bishi is also staying at our house. Um, thank you for coming, like you didn't have to, but thank you so much for being here and supporting me. Um, and okay, so now I'm just babbling on. Um, uh, Dadu and Dila are here as well. They also came from India, so thank you for that. Because also to me, India is no man's land. Um, anywhere that I have to stand up to go to the bathroom, that's no man's land, right? Like, I need a toilet. Um, so thank you <laughs> for coming. That's a good thing you did, toilet.